Hello everybody. Well, I did a video the other day pushing snow with this snow or this backhoe and snow plow. And I gotta push a little more snow. You can see right here I got a big pile. I just pushed it the other day because I had a bunch of company coming and needed to get it cleaned up for the holiday. But what I need to do today is this is my hitching rail where I tie my horses to. And uh, I got this big pile of snow in front of it. What I gotta do is go catch my, I got two horses that still have shoes on. We got about six inches of snow here and it packs ice up in their feet. It's not very healthy for them. So I'm gonna grab this backhoe real quick and uh, push this snow out of the way and then go grab a horse and try to get the shoes pulled off. But I'll, uh, I'll video how this thing comes off. It's, it's really quite simple, but I'll show you guys how it works. So all you do is unhook these chains right here. I try to throw them up with the blades so when I go to hook the back on it, they're not in the road. That's all it is to unhook it. I'll show you how I back it up. I know in the last video I already had this hooked on the bucket, but uh, I'm just going to show you this little framework right here. And the front of the bucket just goes right under that lip right there. It's real simple. Looking back, I wish I would have made this frame right here another foot or two longer to fit under the, the back or the underneath side of the bucket. Or to just give a little bit more stability, but it seems to work fine. I really haven't had any trouble with it, so that's all there is to it. you guys just wanted to take a minute to show you the other part of that snow plow i'll tell you for my little deal around here that has worked great and uh you know i know they make them in a commercial version but i haven't hardly got any money into that built that frame and stuff myself so yeah it's been a great deal so anyway thanks for watching